Before we begin the warm-up, let's take a moment and center our breath and attention in the lower Dantian or energy field. This location can be found by placing your thumb on the navel. Where your hand naturally falls below is the area where we want to gently guide the breath. Leave the hands lying softly over the Dantian. Inhaling through the nose, if this is comfortable, feel the breath descend and expand into your Dantian. Exhale evenly through the mouth and feel your hands sinking with the abdomen back towards the spine. Rest the tongue on the roof of the mouth behind the front teeth. This position becomes more comfortable with time and helps to connect the large vessels of chi running down the front and up the back of the body. Bending the knees, feel your center of gravity in the lower Dantian. Empty the mind of everything except the task of directing breath and sinking breath, filling and expanding, sinking and receding like the ocean tides. Allow the rhythm of your breath to gently rock and relax your body. Soften the muscles of the face, lower the shoulders, relax the hips, and feel gravity gently traction the sacrum and the spine. Feel your weight moving through the body, down the legs, out the soles of the feet, and into the earth. Press the soles of your feet into the earth the same way a cat needs her pillow to soften it before lying down. Shift your weight left and right, feeling the coordination of movement and breath. Let's warm up the neck. Maintain a relaxed and direct spine while you allow the chin to drop forward onto the chest and then raise the chin toward the sky as far as you are able to without strain. A quote from the classic Tao Te Ching says, truly to be stiff and hard is the way of death. To be soft and supple is the way of life. As we move through the warm-up exercises, let the regulated rhythm of your breathing and empty mind connect with your slow and gentle movements. Keep your eyes open as you rotate the head from left to right. Be aware of everything in your gaze as the head moves. Peer into the distance without any attachment. This exercise strengthens the eyes as well as bringing circulation to the brain. Try not to force the stretch. Allow the opening. Bring your ear down to your shoulder. Inhale, exhale. Keep the chin in a neutral position as you move. Your legs and feet are still rooted to the ground and you are breathing smoothly into the Dantian.
Roll the shoulders upward and backward as you inhale. Moving downward and forward as you exhale. Let the breath move you. Elbows and wrists are relaxed. Inhale, exhale. Change directions. Inhale and feel the shoulders rise upward and come forward. Exhale as they drop down and move back. Enjoy the movement and the warmth in the shoulders. Inhale as you raise the right arm to the front and overhead, keeping your gaze on the palm. Exhale, turning the palm away from you as the arm continues in a full circle back to your side. Inhale. Exhale. Feel like you are scooping chi up in your palm. Hold on to the sensation as your arm circles around and back to your side. Focus your gaze on the left palm as your arm circles around. Feel the chi gather in your left palm now. Inhale. Exhale. Be particularly attentive to the changing sensations on the surface of your skin as you move in coordination with your breath. Inhale, gathering chi from all around. Exhale, as you round the back, tuck your chin and curl the tailbone. Inhale, uncurl the spine and open up the chest. Exhale, arch the back and press the shoulder blades downward. Inhale again as you come forward. Exhale lightly, grasping the chi and draw it into lower dantian. Inhale, open. Exhale, feel the tension drop from the shoulders. Inhale, gathering chi. Exhale, store chi in dantian. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. This exercise helps to open the chest, stretch the diaphragm, and expand the lungs. Rounding into a restful posture, we relieve tension and stiffness in the spine. Gently swing the torso side to side making sure the knees and ankles are bent and flexible. The movement comes from your torso. Your arms hang loosely from the shoulders. Remain relaxed and receptive. Feel the chi all around you. Swing the arms a little higher now so they fold in on the body around the waist. Raise them higher still with more velocity. Let the front hand strike the opposite shoulder as you rotate while the back hand simultaneously strikes the opposite kidney. Inhale as you open to the front and exhale as you rotate to the side, folding the arms inward. Rotate the hips in a wide circle, 
around the center line of your body. The head stays centered over the feet while your hips arc in a full circle. Allow the knees and ankles to be flexible. Breathe deeply into lower Dantian as you move. Turn to the right, making small forward lunges. Inhale and feel the energy rise as you press upward. Exhale and feel the chi sink as your weight presses downward. Inhale, draw energy up into the legs. Exhale, feel the energy sink back into the earth. Turn now and repeat on the left. Inhale, exhale. Don't worry if you're merely feeling the stretch at this time and not the flow of energy. Cultivating internal chi is like cultivating a field. It takes time, care, and all the right nutrients Come back to center. Feet are turned out with arms raised to the sides, palms open facing front. As you inhale, draw energy down into the lower Dantian. Exhale and press evenly into both legs, extending arms away from your center. Squat down as far as you can without discomfort while keeping the spine straight. Draw evenly from the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands and the top of your head. Feel your energy center receive the chi from all around you. Exhale and feel your body spread open like a starfish, sending chi back into the world. Coordinate your breath with the inward and outward motion of the body. Coming into a squat again, place the hands on top of the thighs. Bend forward from the hips, inhale looking forward. Exhale as you rotate the head and torso to the right. Inhale as you come back to center, pause. Exhale by turning your head and torso to the left. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Peer behind into the distance. Look through the space created by your elbow and thigh. Inhale. Exhale. Feel strong in your thighs. Now let's bend and straighten the knees. Place your hands just above the joint and carefully guide the knee to track in a smooth, straight line of motion. Be mindful of personal limitations with regards to this next exercise. If something doesn't feel right for you, it probably isn't at this time. Keeping the knees bent and still supporting the motion with your hands, bend forward and rotate the knees in an outward circle. Feel your weight shift from the ball of the foot to the outside edge back to the heel, and then to the inside of the foot. Change directions by straightening the knee and shift the weight to the heel. Now bend the knee and shift your weight to the outside of the foot and then to the ball in an inward circle. To loosen the ankles, shift your weight to the left and balance on the left leg. Raise the right leg in front of you. Place your arms out to the sides to help with balance. Rotate the right ankle and both wrists in an outward circle. Rotate in an inward circle. To help with balance, fix your gaze downward at a point some distance in front of you. Breathe evenly into lower Dantian. Empty your mind. Return the right foot. 
Shift your weight to the right and raise the left leg. Coordinate your wrists and ankles in gentle outward rotations. Change directions, rotating inward. Feel the fullness of chi in your hands and feet as you practice rooting your awareness and breath in Lower Dantian. Your coordination and balance will naturally improve. Take a moment to feel the balance in your body and the warm flow of blood and chi.